We're going down under to Tasmania, an island of extraordinary natural beauty and wilderness with turquoise beaches that look straight out of the Caribbean, as well as rugged fairy tale landscapes. Let's go check it out. First off, where is Tasmania? Tasmania, or also known as Taz or Tazi, is located 240 kilometers south of the Australian mainland. We start our tour at the Freycinet Peninsula to see one of the most beautiful beaches. It's called Honeymoon Bay. Part of the Freycinet National Park on the east coast of Tasmania, Australia, includes a large chunk of rugged Tasmanian coastline, including Wineglass Bay. It's known for its crystal clear waters, and it also gets 300 days of sunshine per year. If you like these views as much as we do, hit the thumbs up button and subscribe down below. Now, it's time to learn about Tasmania's most iconic marsupial, none other than the Tasmanian Devil. We travel 30 minutes north of the capital of Hobart to the Bonnarung Wildlife Sanctuary in order to check out the Tasmanian Devils. Once present on the mainland of Australia, they are now restricted only to Tasmania, and they eat wallabies, birds, and reptiles. Yeah, so it's just like a really high-pitched Yeah, that's how they got their names. But uh, like I said, they don't deserve it, uh, the bad reputation. They're actually quite shy animals. Certainly uh, not aggressive towards anything else, but maybe other devils. But it's a much colder climate down here as well. So it's not, um, yeah, not great for, you know, mainland koalas to be just shipped down here just to keep their captivity. Because up there, they can, they can be rehabilitated and released. Now, we don't hold them here, but you can stand next to him and take a photo standing next to him if you'd like. We just pat him on his very lower, lower back, so not around his arms or his head. He gets very grumpy with that. We're in Tasmania, the East Coast, Tasmania. We're on the beach, we're on the beach. I think this beach is called Rasmus Beach. Check this out. We're surrounded by eucalyptus. Now, time for Tasmania fun facts. Tasmania has the cleanest air in the world due to its strong westerly winds. It was first, quote, discovered in 1642 by Abel Tasman, a Dutch explorer, although Aboriginal people have lived here for at least 35,000 years. And over 20% of Tasmania is part of the Tasmanian Wilderness World Heritage Area, meaning it is very untouched and unspoiled, and some parts of this land are only accessible by foot. If you like these scenic views, be sure to hit the thumbs up button down below. Check out this video. Wineglass Bay. Wineglass Bay offers beautiful coastal hikes and is one of Tasmania's most photographed views of the perfect crescent beach. We're in Port Arthur, Tasmania. We're here at Eagle Hawk. And um, in 1832, the first convicts were taken to Port Arthur. 
In that same year, a military station was established at Eagle Hawk Neck to prevent convicts escaping from the peninsula. Eagle Hawk Neck, the Port Arthur convict prison was there and this small, narrow part of the landmass that connected the mainland of Tasmania crosses here. And the dog line consisted of 18 or more ferocious, terrible, growling beasts that would thwart any convict who escaped. We are at Eagle Hawk Neck which is a narrow natural causeway between the former notorious British convict prison at Port Arthur and the mainland of Tasmania. And this area was guarded by a line of 18 vicious dogs to thwart any escape attempts, although some did happen anyway. We're at Port Arthur, Tasmania. It's a World Heritage Site here on the Tasman Peninsula. We're about to start our walking tour. We're so excited. Check this out. Come with us. Saw this place turning into a secondary punishment station as well. Now, it was only men that were in prison here and punished. Females were sent to places called female factories. If they were well behaved enough, they got the opportunity to be assigned out as a servant. Wow. Port Arthur is named after George Arthur, the former Lieutenant Governor of Tasmania. This historic site dates back to the 19th century when 12,000 convicts were sent here. Our ticket to Port Arthur comes with a 40 minute walking tour and a harbor cruise. Guys, we're at Port Arthur and we're going to go check out the asylum. <laughs> Port Arthur was abandoned as a prison in 1877 and has since become a tourist attraction. After learning about the convict history, it's time to head back to the present era with our scenic boat ride back to Hobart. We hope that you enjoyed this glimpse into Tasmania, its epic beauty and unforgettable history. If you liked it, hit the thumbs up button, share with your friends, and subscribe for more travel videos.